Crappy fishing as a sport has evolved so much in the past 10 or even just five years. We have learned so much about the fish that we love to target and we love to feel the thump. So in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down when to use certain weight of jig heads so you can put more fish in your boat year round. Now, what I'm trying to accomplish in today's video is going to be giving you one, a general idea of what uh, jig head to use in any situation, whether you're fishing docks, bridges, brush piles, or even you're out there trying to find you a giant in open water. So the general rule of thumb, you know, in crappy fishing is honestly confidence. If you have confidence in the bait, if you have confidence in the size of jig head you're using, don't take the things that I say in this video and just change everything up and you end up not catching fish. What I'm going to go over today is honestly, in my opinion, what I would do in, in any given situation with the types of conditions, with the types of weather, and where these fish are positioned to have a better chance for you to stay in the strike zone longer. What's up guys, girls, kids, whatever. So Steven Turner here with Turner Fishing. So like the intro of today's video, we're gonna be going over jig head sizes. You know, highly requested video. Uh, the question gets asked a lot, how fast does a jig head fall? And that's something that you don't have to worry about sometimes. You know, you just need a general rule of thumb of what you need to be fishing for whatever depth the fish are holding at. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. It's not gonna be a long winded video and it's probably not gonna be a long video. So if you love crappy fishing, if you wanna learn more about crappy fishing, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Help feed my family, help pay some bills. Let's, let's go deep dive into crappy jig head sizes. So we're gonna start at the very, very bottom and y'all know this is one of my favorite jig heads and the only jig head the crappy man throws. Yeah, I don't care if he's fishing 20 feet of water, 30 feet of water, whatever. This is his confidence and that is a 164 ounce jig head. Now, if you compare this jig head to a more common jig head that you find at Walmart or uh, Dick's uh, Academy, whatever, and that is a 116th. Even bigger, you know, there are some people that throw, you take a 164, and that is a 1 8th. I mean, you could probably fit four of these to make that. <laughs> I'm not very good at fraction math, so I'm not even going to attempt to do that math in my head. So a 164. Where does this jig head shine and when should you use it? Simple enough, simple. I'm gonna make it really, really simple. A 164 shines in zero to eight feet of water. Now, whether this be on a dock, because this jig head can do some amazing things on docks. Take this dock I have that I'm fishing right now. These fish are positioned under this dock at about five to eight feet of water. And the only way to get under this dock is to let this really small 164 ounce jig head wash up under there, get into the fish's strike zone, and be able to catch those fish. Now, if you were using a more traditional jig head, like a 116th, a 18th, when you cast down this dock, the jig's gonna pendulum way faster back to the boat and it's not going to be able to get into that strike zone for more than a couple seconds now with the 164 you're able to adjust your cast get into that strike zone 
and you're able to get those fish in your boat make them bite because you want to stay above these fish and if they're at these fish were positioned anywhere from five to eight feet of water with this 164 i was letting out about eight feet of line so that was getting me right there in that crispy strike zone of about four and a half to five feet of water so a 164 really excels when they're in that zero to eight feet of water but don't be scared to use it in in deeper water if you have a slower bite say like now when i'm making this video it is in the winter time the fish aren't as aggressive as they are during the spring or you know early to late fall so having that jig just be slowly going down can get you a couple more bites too so the 164 definitely something you want in your toolbox this we have the 132 ounce now this is by far my personal favorite jig um i use this jig for probably 80 percent of my applications uh whether i'm sniping fish with live scope you know casting to them or i'm skipping docks a 132 ounce is an amazing jig it has just the right enough weight to get that jig to, to glide under stuff in stuff whatever and it's got the rate of fall that i'm able to control now i do use this, um, a really small split shot most of the time but i still believe the 132 ounce is just you know an all-around jig head so with a 132 ounce now say we're fishing that dot that we were just now fishing in the past clips if these fish were positioned anywhere from five feet to 15 feet this is the jig i want because of their strike zone now what what i mean by the strike zone i don't if i if you haven't watched any of my past videos the strike zone is basically a foot to half a foot above the concentration of fish every fish has a different personality so that's that's your your secret to today's video every fish has a different personality but if you can stay above the fish because most crappy feed up there's some that feed down but it's very very uncommon but if you can stay above those fish like a half a foot a foot you have a more chance to catch them so if these fish are positioned anywhere from 5 to 15 foot you can easily accomplish that with a 132 ounce now next up on the list is a newly released jig head i gotta find one i think i might have sold them all here we just get a bag of them right here that is the 124 ounce jig head now i've only been using this jig head for about a month now so i don't have a lot of input on it but i can tell you right now 10 to 20 feet of water using a uh, a paddle tail swim bait like like the swim bait that we offer here at crappy man jigs or swimming uh, a little twister uh, curly tail jig um and just general casting to me the 124 ounce excels with that and i've even been using it on my 13 foot pole so 124 ounce i'm probably going to pick it up when i'm fishing 10 to 20 feet of water but there is a key to that jig i've recently been on a quest y'all i haven't been uploading a lot of videos but i've been fishing dirt shallow and i have been casting a 124 ounce with a swim bait trying to catch a giant now i have gone i think four times now and it's not happened i lost one y'all seen the video but i want to catch one to mount on my wall and that's my quest so until i complete that quest i don't even know <coughs> excuse me but a 124 ounce jig head will excel at casting uh 10 to 20 feet of water if if your fish are positioned from 12 to 15 feet 
This jig is gonna get down there nice and dirty, get above those fish and put them in your boat. Now, last but not least, I do not go any deeper, any deeper. I do not go any heavier than the 1 16th ounce we were talking about. This jig is on my pole with a size four hook 100% of the time. Now what I mean by pole, I have my 10 foot ACC or my 13 foot ACC. This is the, the jig that I want to get down in their face as fast as possible, get them to give me a reaction strike, get them to follow it, all that stuff. Now, essentially, if you like using a 6.6 to an 8 foot pole to, to cast with, the 116 ounce will be fine. But I like a 5.6, that's why I tend to stick to the 124. Now, as far as the water column that you should be fixing a fishing a 116 ounce in, it's going to be kind of the same as the 124, the 10 to 20 feet of water. Uh, if you're fishing docks, you know, you kind of want to fish this a little bit faster. If those fish are aggressive enough to chase this bait, because it's going to be moving through the water column a lot faster than, say, a 164 or a 132. So, the 160, the 116th, I highly recommend if you're single pole jigging, uh, I mean, even bridges docks whatever if you're just dropping it down at a certain depth and you want to keep that there and you want to get it down there as fast as possible that's when i pick up a 116 especially live scoping this is the, the bread and butter so that basically covers all the jig heads we offer here at crappy man jigs and all the jig heads i use i may pick up a 1 8 that i've custom made and painted every now and then but honestly just a plain lead jig head it gets the job done so hopefully i taught you something and remember guys make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you haven't i've got a ton of content coming in in the year 2023 and i'm glad to take you along with me